Hello, hello, hello. Making a clay video. And I want to talk about some Buddhism sects or offshoots or I don't know, maybe Buddhism in general. So some of the so first of all Buddhism is still the most peaceful and kind religion in the world and I don't have anything against it it's not really making the world bad there may be some offshoots that may not be so good I don't know about it but my main criticism that I have with Buddhism is that it is placationist that Buddhism just like every other religion of course and that's why I'm against religion Buddhism wants people to be placationist they want people to never criticize anyone they think criticism is wrong they think that criticism is mean <laughs> so and right there that's where I have the biggest criticism so it's not working it's not functioning it makes the world actually worse in a very roundabout way but it does it makes the world worse and religions are always this 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 real big vehicle of driving these human flaws into the world so and they would also happen without the religion of course because they these that it's human neurosis but religion itself is human neurosis religion is mental illness it's a like i said before you know religion itself is mental illness and it's a bad mental illness, really bad. It's craziness. And, you know, there's different degrees, of course, you know. And there are also, before people misunderstand me and say that I throw the kit out with the bath water, I don't. I am, I'm very selective. I do cherry picking, of course, you know and i i pick the good cherries out of the this chaotic jungle of leading people psychologically astray so there are some truth elements here and there from different speakers and philosophers that are quoted here and there in this or that religion you know throughout the centuries and the thousands of years so no doubt about it Buddhism has a lot of wisdom and truths but not everything is you know there are things that I would dispute and there are things that I would add and say wait a minute you created a lopsided picture here and there so that's what critical thinking is all about and and I highly recommend to people to do it. But placationism is the opposite of critical thinking. Placationism promotes uncritical thinking. Okay? And it promotes submissiveness to any kind of corporatist regime or imperialistic regime, you know or any kind of oligarchy or any kind of dictation or whoever puts himself onto a pedestal so and that's what we want to avoid okay we want to avoid Adolf Hitler and Kim Jong Un and those kind of things okay we want to avoid Islamic state we want to avoid a violent religion from taking over the world we want to avoid any kind of 
violent dictatorship. So that doesn't mean I'm against dictatorship. I am for dictatorship, actually. You know, if the dictator is a wonderful, caring, compassionate person, okay. And it has happened in history in the past, okay? So there have been good-hearted kings that were very, very kind and that looked after their community and that were even, that were not hoarding gold and possessions, that were very, very, very egalitarian and very much for all people's happiness and all beings' happiness. But it's very rare, okay, of course. So, so ethics and uh, ethics philosophy has become more widespread now, today. But that doesn't mean that the people that would behave like they did during the Middle Ages that doesn't mean that they would be going by those kind of ethics books and suggestions so not at all I think most people they just go by whatever is dictated to them so by the law so if if there was no law there would be anarchy and people when they see there is no law enforcement they will completely get out of control psychologically and and physically that's why we do not want anarchy to happen really seriously we do not want that and that's why Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin are working very very hard on preventing that from happening okay on keep keeping the economy going as much as possible weighing things off all the time those are two amazing people and we should be so infinitely grateful that they are here right now during these hard times okay during this pandemic during the 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 karmic consequences of the meat markets and overpopulation and meat consumption and slaughterhouses and all of this which cause causes those viruses okay. and these illnesses and the prion proteins and all kinds of terrible things that can that can be developed from that so buddhism does not accept criticism or critical thinking or you know they are, they think this mean so they will they all throw that out and that's that's not good that in itself is a very bad message for the world it does not make the world better it makes the world worse it caters to the corporate agenda as every religion does every religion caters to the corporate agenda with their placationism so uh, every religion has is is a supporter of some kind of bad thing violence this that guns whatever is it always ends up serving the corporate agenda and that's why the you know for for example they have vi very violent people in the military they want violent people in the military from violent religions and so on because those are the placationists again that are okay with the violence they even think it's somehow they identified themselves with that so that's not going anywhere you know that is just leading people astray just like the german tourists that went to tibet and they asked a buddhist monk where does it go to the monastery? We, we want to see it. And, but instead of asking him the question with the question mark, 
the people in Germany, they have a different way of asking a question. They go like, it goes up there, right? But they don't even say right. They say, so it goes up there. And then the Buddhist monk, because he's a placationist and he gives in to everything, he never argues. He goes, <laughs> and they go, okay, so it that's the direction it goes so but it didn't go to the monastery it went into the wilderness and in then they may have gotten lost in the wilderness and who knows what happened there you know they may have starved there's no telling they may have gotten completely lost in the jungles and in the canyons of the Himalayan mountains and then the winter came and they all froze to death or whatever. So yeah and this is this is a, I don't know if this is a true story but I, maybe it is. But that is what happens when we, when people are placationists. They're not doing the other person a favor. Okay. I am not unpatriotic if I criticize a country but that's what they attribute to it so for most people and most religions it is it is rude <laughs> to criticize it's they think it's wrong to be Satan the accuser you know. that's where the word comes from that's where Satan comes from it has been satanized, the word accuser, because Satan is Hebrew and means the accuser. So people have never, when we see this, you know, just looking at the linguistic, we see that the accuser has never been welcomed at any time in history, okay? And the truther clown, which I am, is the accuser. And that's why I'm called Satan all the time, or witch, or devil. Because I take the freedom of making accusations, of criticizing. Yeah. But it's a productive form of accusing. When I see something wrong, I accuse, I judge, you know. Judgment has gotten a real bad reputation lately. Judge, thou, thou shall not judge. This is wrong. That's placationism. Okay, it, it occurs in all religions. Because the religions, they're, they're built by egos, by human egos. Okay? They, they're made in the human ego's image. So that's how the ego continues its proliferation. Yeah. So it doesn't work. Okay. It leads people astray into an emotional wilderness. It doesn't do any good for the world. Okay. The people who do good for the world are those who accuse, who judge, who point out the mistakes, who are critical, who do critical thinking and who see the flaws and what's how things are going wrong. They see exactly the dynamics, the causalities of everything. Okay. Listen to those. Listen to thinkers and shakers. Okay. And stop calling them Satan. Just stop hating the messenger. Okay. And listen to the message. And not just in a religious way again. Don't put anyone on a pedestal. Okay? Then you bypass your work that you have to do. Your work is to listen and then to evaluate what you heard and test it for yourself. And and look at the problems. And then we can fix the problems when we are willing to look at it okay you guys take care